a good way of thinking about it maybe you agree it's just osteoarthritis is like a mechanical thing right it like is. more mechanical than anything else where the cartilage wears out that sh that low friction lubricating shock absorbing thin layer on top of the bone wears out and then as you say then you get the 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 nerve ending dense bone grinding on itself yes. and that is osteoarthritis yes. right? okay yeah, yeah. and yeah. so and then that's uh and you can imagine when all that starts to happen you can imagine all sorts of sensations will happen in the shoulder the grinding and all yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff you for sure the, the, yeah the, the crunch yeah you, know, you may hear like things crunching or, or almost like a ratcheting feeling when people start to raise their arm with bad arthritis mm -hmm. it kind of like ratchets as they go up and uh and it's definitely notable and that's kind of more maybe your painful popping a lot of times and mm -hmm. uh, so people hear a lot of, you know popping and things in, in joints all the time but but then that's when you start to see it become you know much more painful like you mentioned yeah perfect segue into the next topic so like subjective complaints so people come into your clinic my shoulder hurts right and one of the things that I t talk to them about is there's there's a lot of pain generators in the shoulder, and sometimes it's really hard to narrow that down. Um, and so, how so? You mentioned a you mentioned a few things. Maybe rehash. How does shoulder arthritis typically present in a patient? Yeah, so shoulder arthritis typically would present with um, you know uh, some level of shoulder pain. Uh, again, a lot of there are a lot of pain generators in the shoulder. A lot of times people are confused. They're like, my shoulder hurts, and they're pointing at their you know behind their shoulder blade or the right side of their neck or whatever it may be, because it is a huge complex. And I, I would say that um, with arthritis, people typically present sometimes with joint line pain in the back. And it's usually the back of the shoulder, but it can be in the front. But it's usually kind of that that posterior back side of the shoulder. Maybe some referred pain down, but that's the joint line kind of along the back side of the shoulder. And probably a lot of the reason that is is because a lot of arthritis wears out the back of your joint. So people hurt on that side. Mm -hmm. um, and they get referred pain down the arm a little bit. You sometimes get some bicep symptoms, and your biceps is often irritated or inflamed with that, and that can go down the front of the arm. But generally, it's joint line type pain. The other thing you'll get is um, is uh, stiffness. So you things you'll look for clinically on exam, you'll see a, almost the shoulder starting to tighten. And there's really only a few conditions that cause the shoulder to stiffen up. So if you have an x-ray that's completely normal and somebody is stiff, that's not arthritis. But if you have somebody who comes in who has an x-ray, who has a stiff exam, specifically, you'll start to notice that reaching up behind their back will be kind of like one thing that they'll lose first. Uh, when you start seeing stiffness on exam and then you get an x-ray and you start to see arthritis, well, those usually go together. So that's kind of one thing you look for as well. So pain... Sometimes it's not as painful as you think. You just pick up stiffness on exam and you happen to look at an x-ray and see, yeah, you got some early arthritis. So, uh, but that's kind of the things you look for. Yeah, that's great. So do you, do you find that the pain that patients describe tends to be more like deep seated? Like, like it's, I feel like when they come to see me, it's sort of like they do this, they do kind of this thing. Yeah. They, you know, it's like, it's say like, it's, he, say it's aching. Yeah. You know, kind of like an aching, throbbing type pain. Mm -hmm. And it's also, uh, it's also, if you know, some people will take, Anti-inflammatory medicines, uh, you know, you, I tend to hear more when I ask patients who have arthritis if they take, you know, ibuprofen or naproxen, one of these uh, anti-inflammatories, if they actually get relief. And surprisingly, those, those not surprisingly for this scenario, but a lot of times people be like, oh, I took that stuff, didn't help. But for arthritis, I tend to hear more yeses than nos mm. uh, versus like some of the other conditions in the shoulder. So I feel like for the arthritis, it does respond very well to, uh, to NSAIDs is what we call it, but, you know, like your ibuprofen, your Advil, those types of things. So that's another thing they'll commonly say. But yeah, they kind of like general like aching you know in the shoulder is kind of what uh, we expect do you think that more sharp type of pain is less common with shoulder arthritis i i find that this is a little bit anecdotal but like sharp pain say the biceps long head of the biceps yeah, yeah. tendonitis that that tends to feel maybe more towards the outside if that makes sense yeah. towards the surface towards the skin side more sharp uh and maybe even like rotator cuff or bursitis tends to feel more towards the outer side of the shoulder yeah. and more sharp than kind of this deep achy like arthritis kind of yeah pain. i would agree i would agree okay yeah so one thing uh maybe one last thing on like actual uh patient uh, symptoms there are these pops you mentioned these pops in yeah. the shoulder and i think people feel popping all the time in their joints yeah um for shoulder arthritis it's just like a mechanical thing popping but are, are the pops dangerous i feel like i get that question maybe not directly like that but that's sort of what they're wondering yeah. you know they feel a pop and it, they freak out a little bit yeah yeah so a couple things regarding popping so generally popping in your shoulder if it's not painful is really not something to worry about uh with arthritis specifically it's not necessarily um uh, something to worry about either but it's it's a mechanical 
symptom, right? And it, with we mentioned the bone spurs. So the humeral head takes on more of a square shape once you start having all these bone spurs. And so you have almost a square peg in a round hole and you're kind of clunking around in the shoulder. And that's what's happening. Some people almost describe it as, I feel like my shoulder's popping out. You're like, like almost out of socket. And it's actually the opposite. If anything, your shoulder's too stiff, right? And so, but they get these sensations that like my shoulder's popping and it's something, you know, something's going on. They're not really dangerous. Uh, they can be painful though. Um, and uh, with arthritis, you know, it's more the arthritis pain, I would say. If we're talking about soft tissue or things like that, those would be other scenarios where a painful pop might be something to worry about uh, versus non-painful pops, which are generally not as worrisome. Yeah. The other thing I'd like to add, we talked about arthritis. You know, a lot of people say, hey, well, you know, it must be, they chalk everything up to arthritis. They say, oh, I'm, just, I'm getting old. I must have arthritis. Arthritis is a genetic problem, right? I mean, and you put it with the right environment and it can be expressed earlier, but there are plenty of people who live all their life and don't have arthritis in their shoulder, right? So don't, I don't, patients shouldn't come in thinking like, oh, well, I just have arthritis because you might not ever have it. I see 90 year old people all the time who don't have any arthritis in their shoulder. And I see, you know, 50 year old people who have terrible arthritis in their shoulder. So it's definitely genetic. So if you have family members with arthritis, especially immediate, don't be surprised if it pops up somewhere in some part of your body in your life, right? It's usually multiple places.